and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got plenty of stuff for you guys. We got Team of the Week, potentially house rules, and we got the Daily Riddle. I got plenty of stuff for this video. Hopefully, I can keep this within a somehow a 10-minute range. I don't make it too long for you guys. Because if I, if I took my time on this, I could easily make this 20 minutes. So, I'm going to try to be quick about this. If I talk a little fast, guys, I'm sorry. It just it kind of happens. I apologize. But... We do have one Team of the Week card to show you guys real quick. Then I'm going to go watch the stream, show you guys every Team of the Week card. Then I got to show you guys the house rules that should be dropping today. They, there's, there's some talk that it might be within Superstar KO. And yeah, my Madden crashed when I started, so I'm restarting it right now. But the point is here, plenty of stuff to go over. Team of the Week Heroes, Team of the Week LTDs, Team of the Week Set Pieces. Probably a house rules and a house rules reward. And potentially a lot of other things, such as the Riddle. So we have tons of things to go over right now. So I got to go figure out the Riddle real quick while watching the stream while getting this video done for you guys so there's plenty of stuff to do but before we get into this video make sure you go down below hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell boys we're gonna be posting four videos today can we hit 13,000 subscribers by tomorrow we are 200 subscribers away so everyone watching right now go smash that subscribe button if you're new to the channel just go smash it come join the family you won't regret it let's see how quickly we can get to 13k this is the final stretch comment down below what you guys think of the team of the week cards the house rules and the riddle if all those three do actually end up coming out which they should be because that is kind of the trend and also can we get a thousand likes in the 1030 video everyone watching right now at this moment in time smash that like button can we potentially get a thousand likes on a video i don't know our highest is 900 if you guys all smashed right now maybe we could because we definitely get more than 900 views a thousand views so everyone watching right now smash the like button now let's get into the first card which is going to be guys first let's go over actually the harvest daily souls i know a lot of you guys come here for this so let me get this done first and i'll get over all i'll go over all the team of the week cards obviously so first is you know back in my daily you come in here make sure you're getting them all done i am two behind but we still have time on these so obviously i'm a little bit behind but i'm gonna catch back up you can play these all the way up to december 3rd so i guess you just have to get them all done i can't imagine the reward will be probably like amazing because you can get it done whenever but make sure you're getting them all done because he did say there will be a reward at some point and by him i mean Prelo. so i recommend you get them all done today's is untamable in 2005 the broncos took on the cowboys in an epic showdown on thanksgiving can you guess which is correct select your two answers from the artwork below use each correct answer's value to use each correct answer's value to uncover your hidden bonus stars so you click into this win the game is obviously the first requirement so this game did go into ot so i imagine you're going into ot on your first drive so it said well it says a is the Broncos rush for 55, 55 plus yards in OT. The Cowboys won the game is B. C is the Cowboys averaged over 100 yards a quarter. And D, the Broncos won 24 to 21. So B is false. The Cowboys did not win. The Broncos won in overtime. C, the Cowboys did not average over 100 yards a quarter. The Broncos did win 24 to 21. So D is the first correct answer. And A, the Broncos rushed for 55 plus yards in OT. One of the running backs in the Broncos broke a 55 yard run in overtime. So it is A and D. So pretty much on your first drive, you're going to need the 55 yards. And the 24 to 21 is the second, which is at the end. So pretty much you're going to get into the game in overtime. Pretty much just rush the whole way and then score a touchdown. But no, you actually have to, I think, get a field goal. It's 21-21. I go for the field goal. Do not get a touchdown. You have to rush your 55 yards and then take a field goal. My, my bad. So first thing, just run. Run out all the way until you get your 55 yards. And then take a field goal. And the game should be over. Simple, simple as that. Get your coins. If you want to get a little, if you want to make it a little harder, get your harvest player. Go to go to two or three stars, which could help you guys out if you guys need some coins. Up to you guys on that one. This riddle was not too hard today. Pretty easy. I would use pro football focus or pro football reference, either or. And that's where I find all the stats for all you guys wondering. Now let's head on over to see all the team of the week cards. Right, guys, so to start with the pieces, we got coming at the bottom, Amani Oruwari. Yeah. The the cornerback for the Lions. He's got 85 speed, 83 excel, 83 agility, 83 jumping. The card has decent athleticism. Everything else kind of sucks in them, though. But as per usual, these cards are not that great. Benny Snow Jr. actually had a pretty good day filling in for the injured James Conner. 80 speed, 83 excel, 81 carry. But again, the stats typically suck. I don't know why they do that on low pieces. These cards should be budget beast, not just low cards no one cares about. Anthony Miller, wide receiver for the Chicago Bears. 84 speed, 87 jumping. And that is the only stats above 80. Again, these cards are not too great. Cole Holcomb, 81 middle linebacker. 84 speed, 85 excel. 80 tackles so he's probably a decent a decent at best budget user linebacker but i mean that all depends on his other stats hit power is low zones low block shedding is low i mean he has decent speed and acceleration so i guess that kind of counts for some shaq lawson for the buffalo bills left end 77 speed 82 excel so decent athleticism at the end 
80 strength, 82 tackle, no block shed, no power move, no finesse move, no play rec. So I don't really know what this guy does in real life. He must just stand there like a wall and just wait. Rashad Penny actually had an amazing day filling in after Chris Carson fumbled. 83 overall hotback, 86 speeds decent, 86 acceleration, 87 agility, 84 carrying. So he's decent. I mean, it would have been better like two months ago, but he's okay. I think that he's an elusive back too, which is weird. I don't think really think he's an elusive back in real life, but that's what they gave him. 84 wide receiver, AJ Brown of the Tennessee Titans, rookie receiver, 87 speed, 84 jumping, 82 catching. Now, by the way, he might be he might have been a rookie receiver last year, so don't kill me for that. 81 catching traffic. So he's got really good speed, really decent jumping, decent catching, pretty bad route running, decent receiver overall. And then Roddy McLeod Jr. for the Philadelphia Eagles, 85 overall free safety. He's got 83 speed, 80, 88 excel, 83 play rec, 80 man, 83 zone. Okay, this card's actually kind of decent. He can play man, he can play zone. He has some decent athleticism and decent play rec. Not a horrible card, one of the better ones. I mean, I'd hope at an 85 overall, right? Next on the list, we got the first bigger card, which is 86 Brian Poole for the New York Jets. Now, he's a cornerback. He's at 87 speed, 90 excel. Okay, so 84 agility, pretty good athleticism, 85 play rec, 82 press, really bad zone, really bad man, really bad jumping. So, he kind of looks like a wide receiver card. Can't really actually play defense. So, in my opinion, I'd probably not go after him. He does not look too great, but... Decent athleticism on a, on a Jets team team, guys. For all you guys who probably say something like that, he'll probably be decent on a Jets team team. Probably good athleticism. I don't even know who this guy is, quite honestly. Like, I've heard of him, but didn't think he'd get a card. Next, we got Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill actually had a phenomenal day for the Tennessee Titans. He actually went off in fantasy and in real life. He's 6'4", 79 speed, 88 throw power, 89 throw accuracy short, 84 throw accuracy mid, 86 throw accuracy deep, 84 throw under pressure, 85 throw on the run, 82 play action. So... Kemmed up, I mean, he'll probably get, like, decent mid-high 80 stats. If he could have been powered up, it would have been a lot better, but he cannot be. That definitely does hurt the outlook of his card, in my opinion. Not really a fan of this card. Um, on the stream, they said someone was excited about this. I don't know who in their right mind is excited about Ryan Tannehill, but I guess for all you Miami Dolphins themed teams, you guys are super hyped right now, or maybe Tennessee Titans themed teams, I know. A lot of those Dolphin themed teams out there, specifically. Um... Not, not too crazy, not a fan. I really will hope that they would have dropped some better set pieces. I mean, like, Brian Poole, not too great. These cards, not too great. Hopefully, the bigger ones are a little more exciting. They don't have to be great, just exciting, right? New cards we're not used to seeing. That'll be just fine with me. But let's get over to the next card. Next card, we got Fred Warner, right outside linebacker. Actually, that's some pretty cool card art. He's on the 49ers. He's got 84 speed, 89 excel. Okay, so that's pretty good so far. Great, great, great athleticism out of the right outside linebacker spot. 74 strikes, not too great. 84 tackles, okay. 80 play wrecks, okay. 79 block shedding is kind of ass. 53 power moves, ass. 61 finesse moves, ass. So the only way this card could be good is if he has a good zone. If he has a good zone coverage and decent, like decent coverage in general, decent catching, he could be a pretty good user outside linebacker, just the guy that you could put in the zone to actually play zones for you. I, I mean, I'd assume he'd have to be decent at that because having no, he can't pass rush or block shed. He's an 88 overall. That pretty much says that he's 61 stat, 53, 79, 74, 80, 84, 84, 89, and he's an 88 overall. Doesn't make sense. There better be, you better have like a 99 truck or something to be that high of an overall with no stats above like an 85 minus the acceleration, obviously. Next on the list, we got 88 DJ Moore. Now, this card's kind of exciting. Not gonna lie, gonna be a budget beast. 90 speed, 90 jumping, 86 catching. 85 catch in traffic, 87 spec catch, 81 short route running, 81 medium route running, and 82 deep route running. Now, decent route runner, great athleticism, probably a decent kick returner. And if you guys already know, back in the combine, he was one of the few guys that placed in like the same percentile as uh, Saquon Barkley. DJ Moore's an athletic freak, and I imagine his juke and speed might be pretty decent too. So he could be a really good budget piece wide receiver because typically budget piece wide receivers that have good speed, they typically can't juke or spin or anything. They can just run straight line. He might actually have potential to have some pretty good stats and he could route run pretty decently. So we, you could throw him on a slant. He run a decent route. Not horrible. I kind of like this card and on a Panthers team team, he's probably going to be ridiculous. I really don't mind this card. So far, best card of the drops. Next, we got Baker Mayfield as the offensive hero. No one saw this one coming. Baker Mayfield finally gets his next big card since his, I think, his 86, like, rookie card. Whatever, what was that blue card we got for the, uh, what was it, the Epics? The Epic Solos that Baker Mayfield got with Deacon Jones. He cannot get Escape Artist. They probably should have at least get him get close to that. He cannot be powered up either. So, whatever his stats are, is kind of what we're rocking with. He's got 79 speed. He's 6'1". 92... Baker Mayfield, 6'1"? I didn't even know that. 79 speed, 92 throw power, 90 throw accuracy short, 84 throw accuracy mid, 87 throw deep, 91 throw to pressure, 91 throw on the run, and 88 play action. Now, if he could have 
gotten Dash and Deadeye, this card would have been a lot better. But chemmed up, he will get probably to, he could potentially get to 90 throw deep with Madden passing and uh, go deep. So 93rd deep, above 93rd short, really good throw power, really good throw under pressure, really good throw on the run, and pretty good play action. This card's actually a solid passer, but if I'm gonna go for these stats, I'd probably end up, I'd probably rather just go with like Randall Cunningham. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna botch the mid-range anyways, I might as well get Randall Cunningham, Steve Young, Andrew Luck, Lamar Jackson. He pretty much looks like Lamar Jackson or Randall Cunningham, minus the, the ability to be powered up, uh, and minus the ability to be chemmed up properly with all like shaker and stuff. Although, actually, I think that they might be able to get him because they are Team of the Week heroes. But the point being is that not being able to power it up does hurt him because he's not going to be able to get up. And he does not get Escape Artist. So if he had gotten Escape Artist, we'd be looking at this card differently. But he does not. So let's get over to the next card. Okay, so the defensive hero is Vita Vey. Now, Vita Vey is known for one thing, and that's typically being crazy slow. Now, surprisingly, he is not crazy slow. I mean, he has some decent Excel, which kind of makes up for the slowness of him. There's been times where he's at like a 55 speed and like a 55 excel, so I'm pretty impressed they gave him this. He's got that block, the blocker looking archetype, 92 overall defensive tackle for the Buccaneers. I'm pretty sure he scored a touchdown this week, so I wonder if they gave him any like inflated like rushing stats or something. So he's six foot four, 68 speed, 80 acceleration, 96 strength, 86 tackle, 84 play rec, 87 block shedding, 93 power moving, 59 finesse move. So from what I see here, decent excel, good acceleration actually, crazy strength. Decent tackle, decent play rec, decent block shed, decent power move. Now, powered up and chemmed up, he will be able to get to a 90 block shed, so he will be a decent run stuffer. But I think, in my opinion, I'd much rather go with, like, a John Henderson or a Darnold Dockett because they're going to be way faster, way better. Well, not way faster, but they're going to be faster, better play rec, better tackle, better block shed, better power move, better finesse move, and slightly worse strength, but it's definitely worth it because Vita Vey, this Vita Vey does not look that crazy, quite honestly. I think that, um, like I said, John Henderson and, and Darnold Dockett are better options, and they'll probably go for, I mean, Vita Vey might end up going for cheaper than Darnold Dockett, but will probably be in the same price range as Gene Upshaw, not Gene Upshaw, I meant John Henderson. It'll probably be in the same price range as um, John Henderson, so I don't see any issue with going with John Henderson over him specifically because they're more well-rounded he's really only good at block shedding that's if you power can come up the other one's base kind of hit it already so i probably have to rock with them now let's head over to the next card it should be vita Vea, which we went over already actually no it is the ltd so the ltd is fabian moru however you say his name he is the ltd i did not see this one coming his stats do look pretty pretty good though not gonna lie this is probably one of the better ltds they've dropped this year he has the like directional zone looking archetype 54 salary cap he had six tackles and two interceptions. So I didn't really like the name at first, but the card actually looks pretty great. He's six feet tall, 93 speed, 92 excel, 88 agility, 90 jumping, 89 play rec, 88 man, 91 zone, 94 press. So chemmed up with like lockdown and stuff and maybe Madden lockdown. He could get his press ups like a 97, 98. His own get up to like a 93, 94. His man can get up to a 90. His play rec's gonna be a 90. His jumping's gonna be a 90. His speed. If he could have got, if he gets like shaker and stuff, he could potentially be, if he can get shaker on an LTD, I'm not entirely sure. He will have like a 94 speed. This card's pretty insane, not gonna lie. This Fabian Moro card is gonna be one of the best cornerbacks in the game. Now, obviously, we have to see what his like interception stats are, such as like catching and returns and agility, elusiveness, juke spin. But as a cornerback on the back of the card stats right here, like this card right here. Looking pretty, pretty solid, not gonna lie. Now, that is it for the team of the week. Let's head on over to the Madden screen real quick. All right, guys, that is about it. There was no house rules, so EA does it again. We had, we waited our weeks. It is time for house rules to not get out, but hopefully you guys do enjoy the daily solos and the team of the week content. That's all I got for you guys today, but do expect four more videos, so that's about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Can we get to 13K by tomorrow? It's all up to you guys. If you guys are new, Make sure to subscribe, comment down below what you think of these Team of the Week cards, and get your Harvest Daily Solo done. And if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button. Can we get 1,000 likes on the 1030 video? Let's find out. Start spamming the like button as of now. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.